Hi, all. welcome to Django course series. In the last video, we have covered the introduction about Django. But in this video, we are going to set up the basic environment which is required for the Django projects and we are going to install the Django in your system. So we will be following the series of steps in this video. First one is prerequisites. So prerequisites to install the Django. And second thing is we are going to learn a new concept called virtual environments in Python. So what is the necessity of creating the virtual environments? And what is meant by the virtual environment and how to create it and how we are going to activate and deactivate these virtual environments. And next step is how we are going to install the Django in our system. And fourth step is once the Django is installed in our system, we are going to verify that installation of Django. So without wasting further time, let's dive into the video. Prerequisites to get started with the setting up the environment for the Django. Okay. For that one, we need to install the Python. So go to python.org website in your default browser. So once you visit this page, you have to go to this download section. Here it will be showing the list of the installers for the each and every operating system. So mine is Windows operating system. If you are using the other operating system, you can choose that respective operating system installer from this download section and you have to download that installer. So once the installer is downloaded in your system, you have to follow the couple of steps to install the Python in your operating system. So once the Python is being installed in your system, you have to verify that installation of the Python. Okay, how we are going to do that is, you have to open the command prompt. After opening the command prompt, type this command, python iphone iphone version. This gives us the result as the Python with the version number which is being installed in your system. So if you are getting similar message in your system, so that means Python is installed in your system. So you are good to start. Step 2 Virtual Environment Let's understand what is meant by the virtual environment. So virtual environment is nothing but an isolated place where you can work on your Python projects without being affected by your system installed Python libraries. Let's take an example. You are working on two projects simultaneously. Project A needs the Django version of 4 and project B needs the Django version of 5. Okay, But when you install the latest version of the Django at your system level, it will install the Django version 5 which is the latest version. But your project A needs the Django version of 4. right? So in that case what you are going to do is you are going to create a virtual environment for the project A. Inside that virtual environment you are going to install the Django version 4. Okay, and at the same time, you are going to create another virtual environment for the project B. There you are going to install the Django with the version 5. And after some time, there is a version 6 came, Django 6. When you install the Django 6 version at your system level, this project A will not get affected because it is created a virtual environment and the Django version 4 is installed inside that virtual environment. So it is not being affected by the project B installation or your system installation. Same applicable for the project B as well. That's the advantage of creating the virtual environments. And let's take another example. There are two to three developers who are working on the same project. So when you ask them to work on parallelly, so they will install their own version of the Zangos. So but when we are collating all their work, we might end up in lot of issues because of the different Python libraries versions. So to avoid this issue, we are going to create a virtual environment and we are going to share that uh, virtual environment after installing Python libraries to the three developers and once they work on that virtual environment python library versions in their system when we collect all the development work we will not end up any version issues so this is the another advantage of the virtual environment so now we understand what is mean by the virtual environment and why do we need to create it so let's create a virtual environment now so here i have created a folder called the zango codes here i am opening the command prompt okay cmb.exe let me zoom in a little bit here. So here we are going to install a Python library called virtual env. This virtual env Python library will be used to create the virtual environments in Python. Okay. So let's install the Python library pip install virtual env. So pip install is the command and virtual env is the Python library name. So if I press enter this Python library called virtual env will be installed in our system. So here you guys see that requirement already satisfied message is showing because this Python library is already installed in my system. Okay, I'm just clearing the screen. So once this virtual env Python library is installed in your system, the next step is we are going to create a virtual environment. So for that one, the command is virtual env 
and the name of the virtual environment that you want to create. So here I am going to give the virtual environment name as VENV. -E okay, if you want to give any other name, whatever the name you want to give, just give that name and press enter. So once you press enter, so it's showing a message created virtual environment. So I'm minimizing this command prompt. You could see here there is a folder created with VENV. -E okay, if I go inside of that, there will be a couple of subfolders. So this is how you guys can create the virtual environment in Python. Okay, so once this virtual environment is created, we need to activate this virtual environment. So how do we activate this virtual environment is, so if you go to the scripts folder, there is a two scripts. One is activate script, so this batch file. So once you execute this batch file, the virtual environment will be activated. The VENV virtual environment will be activated. And how you are going to deactivate is, same way you could see here, deactivated batch script is there. So once you execute this deactivated batch script, so you'll be able to deactivate this virtual environment. Okay, so let's do that task in the from the command prompt. Okay, I'm just opening the command prompt again. I'm clearing the screen. Okay, now we have to activate that virtual environment. So to activate the virtual environment, you have to specify that path venv. -E that is the name of the virtual environment, right? Venv -E slash scripts with capital S and activate. If I press enter, you could see here this virtual environment is activated. So how you are going to check whether this virtual environment is activated or not activated? So if you see these two lines, if you observe carefully, the first line before activating this virtual environment, it is showing the system folder path. But here if you see here, it is showing as a VENV, that is the virtual environment name which we have created. So whatever the Python libraries that you are going to install in this uh, virtual environment once it is activated will be only be available in this particular virtual environment. Okay. So how you are going to deactivate this virtual environment? So to deactivate this virtual environment, you just have to type deactivate. For the activate, you have to just type in the path where this activate batch script is there. For the deactivate, just press the, just type the command deactivate. That's it. So this is how you guys can activate and deactivate the virtual environments. Let's install the Django in this VENV virtual environment which we have created. Okay. Before going there, let's activate this virtual environment. Okay. VENV slash scripts slash activate. Okay. So once this virtual environment is activated, now it's time to install the Django. Pip install. The command is pip install Django press enter. So Django will be installed in your system. Okay. Could see here successfully installed Django 5.0.1. Okay. Now let me clear the screen. So once the Django is installed, now it's time to check whether that Django is installed properly or not. So how we are going to just check that by writing the command Django iPhone admin with a version. Okay. It gives us the version of the Django which is being installed in here, this virtual environment 5.0.1. Okay. And I'm opening the uh, Django project official website. If you see here, there the latest version of the Django is 5.0.1. The same version is being installed in our virtual environment as well, 5.0.1. Okay. So with this one, we can conclude that Django is successfully installed in our virtual environment. In this video, we have set up the environment which is required for the Django projects. So first we have installed the Python and we have verified the installation of the Python. And the next, we have understood the concept of what is meant by the virtual environments in Python and what is the necessity of creating those virtual environments in Python and how we have to create those virtual environments. And once after creating this virtual environments, how to activate them and how to deactivate them. And we have installed the Django in the virtual environments which we have created with the latest version of 5.0.1 and once the installation of Django is completed, we have verified the installation of the Django as well in the virtual environment as well. In the coming video, we are going to create our first Django project. So stay tuned for our channel.